Hi, welcome to Open Map Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm head instructor Elliot Baev, this is our student Alan. We're going to be looking at the four basic positions in Jiu Jitsu. One thing we really try to stress here is not just you know, doing the techniques, but understanding them, understanding the context of why they work, why they don't, so that you can uh, find a way to make them work even when you're in a new situation. So the three most important positions we start with all come when Alan's on, the, on his back. If he's on his back, there are really only three positions we can be in. First one here is what we call the mount. From here, the person on top is clearly dominating the fight. I've separated his lower body from his upper body. I've got all my weight on him. He's got none on me, obviously. If it's a punching situation, I can reach his face. He can't reach mine. I can pull back. The ground blocks him. I'm going with gravity, he's going against it, and if I, if I don't feel safe, I can always just smother him, take away the space he needs to hit me. If he does try to hit me and I want to turn it into an even worse situation for him, I can deflect, trap with my body weight, and now you see positions like the gift wrap here show you just how powerful Jiu Jitsu can be. Here I could talk him down, I could of course hurt him if I needed, or just get up and run away. But the point is, dominance for the top person. Second possible position, also dominant for the top person, is what we call side mount here, side control. I've still got all my weight on Alan. I've limited his mobility. His upper body and lower body are separated. If we wanted to start hitting each other, I've got the, you know, I've got ability to do that without him being able to hit me back. And again, from a, you know, if we throw submissions in, as you see down the line top person has a clear, distinct advantage. The third possible position we can be in when Alan's on his back is what we call the guard here. For sure, if you've seen any UFC or MMA, you've seen this position. From here, still, if it's a fighting situation where there's punching, you don't want to be on bottom. You never want to be on bottom. The difference is, for the bottom person, Alan now has some options. If I'm sitting up like this, he can sit up and take me right over and get to the mount himself. If I leave my hands on the ground, he can come up and start arm locking me here. He has options. So we don't want to be on our back, but if we have to be, this is where we want to be. We have an ability to defend punches because, you know, worst case, we can bring our knees together, push the person away. Push, 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 yeah. And now look, I can't even reach him, yeah? Ideally, we use this position, if it is a punching situation, to back out and stand back up. But the point is, we have to understand there's a big difference. For me on top even, you know, I'd rather be on top, it's better, but I don't want to be here if I have the choice. I'd rather get past his legs, get to the side control position, or to the mount. For Alan, if he's in the mount or side control, he always wants to get back to his guard or find a way to get on top. Now the fourth basic position is what we call the back. And this is a unique position because it doesn't matter if we're face up or face down. This is the most dominant position in jiu-jitsu. person who's behind, they're, all their tools, all their limbs are facing the other person. All, their, all the defenders' per, uh, limbs are facing away. I have the ability to choke Alan. I can start arm barring him. If we're talking about hitting, this is a terrible spot for him. And especially if he rolls face down, you know, he tries to get to his knees, I can flatten him out here. And now you can see this is just an awful spot. We're not really going into detail with all these positions, all the options, but it's important to understand no matter what position you're in, one person is always in a dominant position. The other person's always in a defensive position. When you're in a dominant position, you have submission options available to you. When you're in a defensive position, you don't. Everything in jiu-jitsu is about positioning, getting to a better and better position. This is just kind of a, a tip of the iceberg, of some understanding of position, but that's, that's what we try and focus on here at OpenMap. We want to give you an understanding of the game. Not just, you know, here's a technique to do here, here's another technique, but, you know, why do these techniques matter? When can you use them? When can you not use them? So that you, you're never lost. It's, you know, jiu is a fascinating game. It's like, you know, you hear people refer to it as body chess all the time. This is, this is just a, again, tip of the iceberg for you to start understanding how does the chessboard work.
Love to have you come in, try a class. We've got a 30-day free trial. We offer free private lessons for those who are new um, to give you an understanding of how to get started and, and where the game can go. Love to have you come out. You know, one of the things uh, we're really proud of is, is really great people, really great attitudes here. No one's going to try to hurt you. No one's going to be intimidating. Everyone's really welcoming. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It'll uh, really open your eyes. We'd love to have you. I'm Elliot Baev. Come on up.